Your Credit Matters, brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report and it's wrong. What are you doing about it? Tips for improving your credit, the type of credit accounts in your credit report. We may have highlighted this a little bit, but I want to give you this full story so you can improve your credit scores. There are five main factors that make up your credit score. The amount of debt you owe, your payment history, new credit inquiries, length of credit history, and credit mix. Credit mix, which is how diversified your credit accounts are, makes up about 10% of your credit score, which can make a big difference when you're trying to boost your score. What does credit mix mean? Basically, credit scoring models want to see that you can manage different types of financing, most notably revolving accounts such as a credit card, an installment account, such as a mortgage or auto loan. Why does your mix of accounts matter? Credit bureaus have determined that the types of accounts you have is predictive of your future credit risk. This means that consumers with the strongest credit scores tend to have a mix of accounts. If your goal is to build or maintain great credit, you'll want to get and keep different types of credit accounts. One reason that lenders look at credit mix is to make sure that you can be responsible with multiple types of credit. Maybe you're great at paying your mortgage, but get a little sloppy when it comes to keeping your credit cards current. Showing that you can handle different types of credit and multiple credit accounts at once indicates financial responsibility to potential lenders. Don't forget rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. That'll help you get that credit get that credit cards paid properly properly for FICO scoring purposes and not worry about forgetting. What's an installment account? Installment accounts are those that have a fixed payment for a fixed period of time. You're not required to pay the loan in full each month. Instead, you make a payment that is the same every month until the loan is paid in full. Lenders charge you an annual percentage rate, also known as APR, and this is how they make money. Here are a few different types of installment accounts to consider. Auto loans. Auto loans are issued by a bank, credit union, or a company that specializes in automobile lending. These accounts are generally paid off over 48 to 60 months, but shorter and longer terms are available. Mortgage loans are issued by a bank or a credit union or a company that specializes in mortgage lending. These accounts require the, the most amount of paperwork during the application process, and a good credit score can help you secure a lower interest rate because mortgage loans can span up to 30 years. A lower interest rate can save you a lot of money over time. Student loans. These loans are used to pay for college-related expenses, such as tuition, room and board. Student loans are a unique type of loan because most students are taking classes and not working full-time jobs. As such, the repayment of student loan generally goes through a process called deferment. Deferment allows a student to postpone their payments until several months after they have graduated or stopped going to school. This gives them the opportunity to secure employment before starting to pay back the loan. Home equity loans. A home equity loan is a fixed amount of money that you borrow against your home's equity. Once you take out that loan, your payment is the same for the duration of the payback period. These are not the same as home equity line of credit, which is actually a revolving account. Personal loans are generic installment loans that you can take out for many reasons, depending on the reason. They often do not require collateral. You can get a personal loan from online lenders or from a bank or credit union. Credit builder loans. Credit builder loans are offered by some financial institutions. You put some money down in a savings account and pay yourself back. Once it's paid back, you can access the savings that you put in. Additionally, you build up a small amount of interest from keeping the money in a savings account. So what's a revolving account? Revolving accounts are those that have a different payment each month depending upon your current balance. You're not required to pay these accounts in full each month. You have the option to revolve some of the balance to the following month. Lenders charge you interest on the amount you revolve. Credit cards issued by a bank, credit union, or other financial institution, ser financial services company. These are accounts backed by a major payment network like Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. These accounts are extremely common because almost all banks and credit unions are able to issue them to their customers. Credit cards issued by retail stores. These are accounts that are issued by stores where you like to shop. These cards are a little different than the previous type in that you can only use the card at the store that issued it. Credit cards issued by an oil company. 
These are accounts that are issued by a petroleum company, as with retail store accounts. These cards can only be used at specific locations, almost always a gas station. Some examples, Texaco, Chevron. They're a, it's a Tecron Advantage card. Exxon Mobile Smart Card, Shell Card, BP Credit Card. And then the home equity lines of credit, HELOCs, let you tap into the equity of your home. These loans are generally easy to obtain from most reputable banks and credit unions. Since these loans allow you to access a portion of your home's equity, these work similarly to other revolving lines of credit where the payment is determined by the balance and interest rate of the account. What is an open account? Also referred to as open credit. Open accounts are a hybrid of installment and revolving credit. The payment is not the same each month and is usually due in full at the end of each billing cycle. The consumer satisfies financial responsibility for the account when the bill is paid in full each month. The cycle can go on as long as the consumer has an account with the servicer provided. An account with a utility company is one example of open credit. A customer with an account for gas or electric service, for example, doesn't know what their payment will be each month, but is responsible for paying in full unless other arrangements are made. Charge cards are another example of open accounts. They're similar to credit cards, but you're expected to pay the balance off in full by the end of the month. So what is a trade line? Trade line is a catch for all credit accounts that appear on your credit reports. In other words, every single account on your credit file will fall into one of the categories above, revolving, installment, or open. And all of those accounts are trade lines. Once a trade line is added to your credit report, it will affect your credit score. You'll want to make sure you understand what is on your credit reports and ensure you're paying off your credit accounts on time, every time. How can you max earn the maximum points for the types of accounts uh, type of accounts category? Easy for me to say. Before you try to make any changes, be sure you have checked your credit score from cleanall3.com. See whether this category is bringing your scores down. If it's not, don't worry about it. But if it is, you may want to consider the following strategies. Get an installment loan. If you don't have an installment loan reported on your credit reports, consider whether it makes sense to get one. If you're going to borrow money anyway, or if you want to consolidate higher credit, higher rate credit card debt, a personal installment loan may be helpful here. Another strategy is to get a low rate car loan and then pay it off as quickly as you can. Apply for a credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, that are currently open and active, rsrccpayment.com tells you how to keep them active, consider getting one. A credit card that's paid on time, has a low or no balance, can be a very valuable trade line. If your credit scores are poor, you may need to consider a secured credit card to get started. Keep in mind that applying for a new credit can make your score go down a few points as it increases your hard inquiries, but this might be an acceptable trade-off if the boost you get from uh, the better credit diversify makes up for it. Easy for me to say. Whew. Remember, you don't want to take on financing you don't actually need or more importantly, won't be able to repay just to beef up your credit mix. The best way to score big points in this category is to add installment revolving and open accounts to your credit file organically over time. As you add new loans, be sure to keep track of due dates and watch your debt levels. Remember, you still want to keep your payment history and your credit utilization as positive as possible. If you want to get more information on these things, give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. That's your Credit Matters segment, brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. You have a credit report, and it's wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has these solutions for you. 800-306-1990. 